Okay. It's always over here. There's probably something screwy with one of these, but once it, there we go. Once it overcomes that, it, it really builds up the speed. It's, it's probably doing about 150, 180 RPM. They all keep their distance uh, equally. Uh, as long as there's enough power on these electromagnets, uh, they, they flow quite well. And these are just industry standard magnets, and so are the rollers. The centers are unmagnetized. It's just the rings on the rollers, and the stator is magnetized. Uh, these weights are pretty close to being the same, uh, within a gram accuracy. Uh, the lights are mirror for um, basically whenever the electromagnet is pulsed, the light, the white turns on, and whenever it's off, the blue is triggered. Okay. And the camera is not really picking. It, it, it's not showing them. You can see them pulsing with the eye. Yeah, it's pretty fast. That's doing well. How long did this take to build? Three, four months. Quite a lot of work. And this was just the one of the very first versions. We used laminated steel instead of just solid iron, and that greatly enhanced the, the strength of the electromagnet. Uh, these strands. And there's eight, eight wires per, strand, per, per wrap. Instead of just using one wire and repeatedly wrapping it, we divide the whole entire segment into eight so that the, it's a great, a much stronger field instead of just one wire continually wrapped. Uh, it lowers the resistance, definitely. And the MOSFETs are getting hot. That's the only thing on this version, the MOSFETs. The MOSFETs would heat up pretty fast on some of them. Some are cold and others are like, yeah, that one's pretty hot. Ah. 